Joined now in studio by Tim Smechak, pro tennis player, now ranked 73rd in the world. And Tim, thanks for joining us in studio first and foremost. Thanks for having me. No problem. And Tim, it's been a long road, but 73rd in the world. What's your thought on that? Uh, well, yeah, it has been a long road, and uh, I've been out here doing it for seven, eight years now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm just enjoying a, a breakout year, and, and it's, been, uh, it's been a great experience and, and a lot of fun this year. 2002 WI state champion at Brookfield Academy and I think you're the the testimony of hard work pays off like you said seven eight years as a pro but basically a decade getting to this level yeah and uh, you know uh, it, that state championship was a long time ago um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know a couple years later I realized I could go pro and and uh, maybe didn't know quite what I was in for at mm. the time but um, you know, like I, like I said, I'm really thankful that I that I've stuck with it, and and um, really happy it's uh, it's paying off. Number of times you've said stuck with it, or or in this interview even you've said you know the hard work pays off, but it it was a hard road. Where there was there ever a time where you thought, boy, what did I get myself into, or how tough is this? Or yeah. What yeah. should I do? <laughs> Lots of times. Um, you know, uh, there were a couple years there um, when I first started my career that uh, you know I just didn't didn't really have any results and 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 struggled hard and you and you see it happen with a lot of players um, and you know sometimes they they hang it up and sometimes they don't and and mm -hmm. uh, you know I'm, I'm happy that uh, I'm happy that I didn't hang it up right away and, and I'm happy that uh, you know I'm still able to play you're about the same size as me but now tennis has become a power game how much have you had to learn what you can and can't do now in the world of tennis being one of the smaller competitors. Yeah, I think that's uh, in the last two years. That's one of the biggest uh, areas that I've improved on. I've, I've really um, figured out figured out my uh, my brand of tennis mm. and um, figuring out what I do well and what I don't do well and and how I uh, need to win matches. So uh, that's been a a, a good uh, good spot for me to improve on in the last uh, two years. What's the reaction to the Movember mustache? Uh, I've, I've had some good reviews. Um, <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> uh, it's working for you, man. You look a little older. I know you're a young guy, yeah. but it's, you're looking a little older. Yeah, uh, I get a lot of laughs, a lot of double takes, <laughs> but I'm um, sticking with it for a little while. That's good. What type of reaction do you get around Milwaukee? I know you don't get home very often because you're on the circuit, you're on the tour, you're going all over the place and almost all over the world, essentially all over the world. What's it like to be back home? That's great. Um, I, you know, I don't get back here uh, nearly as often as I like to. Mm -hmm. But uh, every time I, I have a, a spare week or something like that, I, I jump at the chance to to come home and, you know, love spending time with my family and and seeing, uh, you know, just I've got a huge family, so it's, it's seeing the extended family uh, sometimes uh, takes a while. But um, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it's fantastic to be home, and every every chance I get, I try to. To this point, what is the highlight of your career? I mean, the U.S. Open, you were the last male alive in the third round, obviously, this year. You won this year. You've won a couple of times, I think three times total, in fact. What is the highlight so far? What do you remember so far, Tim? Uh, well, I think the highlight of my career has to be, uh, you know, a couple of months ago at the U.S. Open. Mm. Um, the Just the fact that I was, uh, for a day or so, the, the last uh, American uh, male standing was uh, it was a pretty neat experience and mm -hmm. and uh, luckily my parents were able to make it out to New York for that last match and it's really uh, it was really nice to share that with them and and um, you know just that even though I lost that last uh, five setter um, you know it was a, it just an incredible atmosphere and, and uh, really neat to have uh, all the fans behind me and it was just uh, it's very special and I'll always remember it only two Americans are ranked higher than you right now in the world of tennis, 73rd. Obviously, you are ranked at, as of this time. Uh, what are your future goals? What are you thinking? Is, are you thinking now that you've had, like you said, a breakthrough year, that you can continue this momentum? Uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. I, I also know that uh, I can't get ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. um, first and foremost, I'd like to really cement myself as a, as a top 100 player because this um, you know, this is this will be my first year finishing s inside of 100. So uh, I'd like to uh, you know get there or, or stay there and give myself a little breathing room. But um, uh, that said, you know, looking forward, I'd, I'd love to, to you know sneak into the top 50 sometime this year and, mm -hmm. and uh, just you know onwards and upwards. 
What do you remember about your formative years of tennis here? Was it, you know, at the Greendale Village Club? Was it Brookfield Academy? Or maybe all the above, just the people that have helped you get to this point? Yeah, you know, um, when I was younger, I spent a lot of time at the Village Club. Uh, mm. Hours and hours and hours on the court. Um, mm. But uh, probably the thing I remember most was, um, you know, the, the real early mornings at the Grand Racket Club with, uh, with Gene Lawhern. Mm. Uh, he used to take my brother and I and, and sometimes my sister uh, out for lessons at, you know, 5, 5.30 in the morning just because, you know, it's when we could get courts before school. Right. Um, and so uh, those, those uh, memories really stick out for me. And you're coming back to Milwaukee next month, December 6th and 7th for Serves for Summit. Great charity event. Maybe explain a little bit about what's going on with that. Yeah, we... Um, we did an event uh, benefiting Summit uh, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, John Isner came up and we had a great turnout. Uh, we decided a little earlier this year that we, was g we were going to uh, you know, give it another go. Mm -hmm. um, Summit's a great uh, organization. Uh, my uncle is the uh, director of it and it's a, you know, a, a tutoring program for at-risk uh, kids mm -hmm. in, uh, in Milwaukee um, with a real uh, focus on character building. and. Um, one-on-one -on -one tutoring so it's a fantastic organization and and uh, December 7th we're gonna have uh, a couple other players um, you know come up and uh, we're gonna have a little modified Davis Cup format mm -hmm. um, Rajiv Ram who's actually originally uh, from Wisconsin mm -hmm. uh, another player Dennis Kudla and Ryan Williams uh, we're gonna play some singles and some doubles and then mm -hmm. we have um, uh, another uh, pretty famous Wisconsinite in the tennis world, uh, Tom Gullickson, mm -hmm. is going to come up and, uh, you know, uh, support the event. So we're, we're really excited. They're trying to talk me into umpiring that event. Do you think I'm qualified enough to handle the speed? I don't know if you're qualified uh, in terms of the umpiring, <laughs> but uh, I think you could maybe provide some color. I won't be calling Wimbledon anytime soon, let's put it that way. And obviously you have the benefit in the dinner the night before on December 6th, and then the tennis at Wisconsin Lutheran College uh, on December 7th, correct? Correct, yeah. Uh, we've got the sponsor's dinner uh, the night before on the 6th, um, and then uh, we're going to do some sort of a... Um, silent auction mm -hmm. with uh, you know some some pretty cool uh, auction items um, you know I think we've uh, we've even got some US Open tickets lined up mm. or, and some stuff like that so um, and then the next day we're gonna start uh, with a, uh, a 10 and under tennis exhibition mm -hmm. uh, right before uh, right before the other uh, right before we get started up at seven o'clock that's awesome. Well, Tim, congratulations, and we look forward to your event in December next month. Thanks a lot. All right, Tim Smichek joining us right here on TMJ4.